All right, April, thank you very much. The New Orleans City Council Utilities Committee will be questioning Energy New Orleans today about its response after Hurricane Ida. All eight of the energy transmission lines, power lines that came into the city failed during the storm after the utility company claimed that the infrastructure was strong enough to hold up when a storm came. Asha Staples is joining us live outside City Hall with more on this, Asha. And uh, a lot of people very upset about this one. That is right, and hopefully some resolve coming from this meeting happening later on this morning. But the City Council President, Helena Moreno, who serves as the lead regulator for Intergy New Orleans, has been pretty critical about the performance of the company uh, post-Hurricane Ida recovery. And she also is going to be addressing during that meeting alternatives for the Intergy, current Intergy monopoly happening right now. But uh, Intergy responding to Moreno in a news release on yesterday, signaling that its relationship with the city council is at a crossroads. The utility company said it would work with city council on a new path forward, but also suggested that the council's proposed actions could make its service worse. In response, Entergy sent Moreno a copy of its news release and also sent her its strategy for dealing with the media and shareholders. Most notable in that release, the talking point said a critical substation being built to make Entergy service to the sewage and water board more reliable could be, quote, suspended. If Entergy New Orleans is, quote, not financially viable option as a result of the city council's mandate. Entergy tried to recall the email it sent to Moreno, but Logan Atkinson Burke of the Alliance for Affordable Entergy thinks it was meant as a threat. What we know is real is that the people of Louisiana have spent a lot of money on a system that has harmed us for a long time. That's not performance. That's not theater. That is real. And it serves as one of the first times we've seen the threat said the quiet part out loud, which is we'll take our ball and we'll go home if you regulate us. Entergy offered four broad options for change. One, merging Entergy New Orleans with Entergy Louisiana, which would place its New Orleans operations under the Louisiana Public Service Commission instead of the New Orleans City Council. Uh, selling Entergy New Orleans to another utility, spinning off a standalone company not owned by Entergy, or creating a public utility run by the city of New Orleans. Entergy did decline an interview on Tuesday in response to all of this. It says it will be at today's city council hearing, so of course we'll give you the latest as it happens both on air and online at WWLTV.com. For now reporting live at City Hall, Asha Staples, Eyewitness News. All right, Asha, thank you very much. The Council Committee will be meeting at 1030 this morning. You can look for updates on our mobile app, of course, our website, and in later newscasts.